Hi, I'm Anthony Samarco, and I'm the author of Lost Boston. And today we're actually visiting North Square in Boston's North End. In the period of the 17th century, this area, which was basically the area just north of King Street, or what is today State Street, that divided the North End from the South End in Boston, was an area that was a crossroads. And by the time of the 1840s and 1850s, the neighborhood, which had been primarily the descendants of the Puritans that had settled the town of Boston in 1630, began to change. And in the period of the 1840s, the Irish began to come to the New World, followed by German Jews, Russian Jews, Italians, and almost a panoply of almost every other Western European country. But today, when one thinks of the North End, it's primarily an Italian-American neighborhood, a place in some ways that does have wonderful restaurants, pastry shops, bakeries. There are wonderful things that still survive to this day, including Paul Revere's house. Seen directly behind me, Paul Revere's house itself was built in 1680 and is the oldest house in downtown Boston. When it was built, North Square had previously had a fire that destroyed much of the buildings. But Paul Revere's house itself throughout the 17th and 18th century would be a comfortable home. Paul Revere lived here between 1770 and 1800. His first wife and he had eight children. He married again after her death and had a further eight children with his second wife. But the idea was he lived here not just with his wife, 16 children, but at least seven apprentices who were learning the trade of silversmithing. When we think in some ways of the North End too, we have to realize that in the 19th century, North Square was a thriving crossroads. It had not only the Mariner's House, which was a place where people associated with the mercantile trade could stay at a very inexpensive price, but it also had the Siemens Bethel, today known as Sacred Heart Church. The Siemens Bethel had been founded in the 1840s by Father Taylor, a beloved pastor of the Methodist Episcopal Church. Well, by the 20th century, the North End itself was probably the most densely built up and settled neighborhood of the city of Boston. It was said that there were over 21 languages and dialects spoken just in this one area. In some ways, the immigrants themselves were an important feature, and they were alleviated in their plight, primarily not through the Americanization program, but it would also be in some ways through the North Bennett Street School. The North Bennett Street School itself had been founded and endowed by Pauline Agassiz Shaw, but she herself was married to Quincy Adam Shaw, the wealthiest man in Boston. They would also have the Saturday Evening Girls, a group of both Jewish and Italian immigrant girls who would actually meet on Saturday evenings to actually make art pottery. Today, when we think of the North End, many times we always think of Paul Revere. But he's immortalized in a statue by Cyrus Dallet at the Prado. The Prado was created as a WPA project in the 1930s, and in that instance it was an important feature to realize that he himself was seated on his horse, Meg, and basically taking off for the midnight ride that he would actually alert the colonists that the British were coming. So today, when we look at the North End, we have to realize that it's an ever-evolving neighborhood. Today, a tourist destination, but also a home to a group of people that look at Boston's North End as a great place, accessibility, as well as some of the best restaurants and bars in town. Mm -hmm.